Welcome to Dirksen Photography. My name is Janis Dirksen. And today we're going to take a look at the question, should you start your photography business? This also goes hand in hand with the question, what motivates you to, to take pictures? And when I look at myself, I went to university, I studied economics and I was working in insurance. And with the time, I felt I was always looking into the future. When I was at school, I was always looking, oh, one day I can go to university and have a great time. Then at university, I had a very little money. So with the years of studying, I thought, one day I have a job and earn money. Then when I was working in an insurance company, I had the money and I was looking for the holidays. I was looking for the weekend. I was looking for the evening where I was finishing work. So I was always looking for something different and I was never really enjoying what I had right now. And I thought to myself, I don't want to be here in the next three years. When I was working in insurance, I had a moment when I thought this day that I live today every day, I don't want it in three years. So I thought I quit right now. It's better to quit right now. And with all the consequences, no income, nothing, but still have to pay for everything. And I ask me one question, what do I like to do most? What, what do I like to do so much that I would do it even for free, that I pay for it? And the answer was very easy, it is photography. Photography is something that I enjoy so much. It gives me so, so great emotions. And it's something that I invest in, all the money that I've made, I've invested in photography, or a lot at least. All the time that I have in my free time, I invest in photography. And, I take a lot of, and I've taken a lot of pictures for free, for friends and family and friends of friends, just when I was starting out. And so I, I said to myself, now it is my responsibility, because I have found something that I love. It's my responsibility to find a way to do this every day, seven days a week. It's my responsibility to find a way to do what I love seven days a week, if I want to. And photography gives me the greatest feeling, of course I want to do it seven days a week. So then is the question, how can I do it? And from there you start and you will fail and it will be costly and it will be difficult, but it will pay off. Nothing great in life comes easy. Nothing great in life comes cheap. For the first eight months, when I was registering my photography business, for the first eight months, I was making zero income. After eight months, there was zero income. But I've invested 10,000 euros in the Canon 60 camera, the Tamron 2470, the bag, the, web, the website, the insurance, the, the, the cards, the flyers, the marketing, but nothing was coming from it. And that was the price to pay. When, you, when something is important to you, it cannot be easy, it cannot be cheap. You have to go through a level of suffering and at the end of that suffering, you get a reward from it for your enduring. And the harder the way, the greater the emotion you get afterwards. And it's such a great feeling when you do what you love and it is hard and you keep going and one day you will reach success. And I can tell you when that day will come. It might be after one month, it might be after 10 months, it might be after one year, maybe two years. When you continue what you love to do, you will be successful and you will be more successful than in any other area where you could have worked. Your heart is the greatest motivation for success. And when you do something every day where your heart is beating, where your heart is alive, nobody can be more successful than you. In that part. You become that part. <laughs> and maybe the story motivates you to get into the fear to get into the insecurity and to fight your way through it. That's it.